Me, 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 me. Honk shoe. Honk shoe. So you know what you know about? Z, 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 You guys know what sawing logs is? Sawing, sawing logs? Sawing logs. Z, 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 yeah. Z, Z. Wow. I'm, it's not... Ask me anything about sleep, I'll know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love sleep. Um, well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Oh my God, the drama. It's, oh, good so wait, morning. isn't this just thirty minutes more? Like, well, it was, it was originally going to be an hour earlier than normal, which is already early. <laughs> this is a good setup for what we're about to show my, Matt as well. Yeah. So normally we record from like ten to one ish, right? Correct. Like but it's like an hour away, so I need to wake up at like <laughs> seven thirty-eight. You, Mike didn't even have time to make his coffee this morning. You got to do my morning an routine. An ungodly hour. And then, <laughs> didn't you set an alarm for coffee? What? I felt like a Not coffee today. maker is no, set an alarm for brother, it to be ready. Oh, I sorry. No, I'm he sorry. He has a chemistry set over there. <laughs> He's got lessons in chemistry. <laughs> He's Walter White over there making his goddamn coffee. It takes Matt, three hours. You think I could set an, a button for my coffee That's setup? That's offensive. You, that, you know how I make I, my coffee. I just thought people when they wake up on their coffee machines, they it. There's an alarm on it. So I don't wake have up a and smell the coffee. Here. I have that. It starts at 6:30 a.m. Just see, that's what I thought. Okay, that's oh, that's just why I thought I that. Just but said, me, Matt, yeah, I don't think he knows you at all. I I grind the beans. I weigh them. I use the Chemex. I heat up the water. I'm doing. You, the, that's your only way of making coffee. What what else do you think I'm doing? You think I thought I'm you a, ha at least have another coffee machine for times where you have to be at the door well, in a he, quick amount of time. Can't do that. Keurig. Keurig? Are oh, you, Keurig? You come to my house and you talk to me. You say the K word in my house. <laughs> You're out, buddy. <laughs> All the K honest. words you could use in your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kanye West. <laughs> that is one of them. Yeah. Uh. So Mike. <laughs> Mike's having a hard time. Okay. So yeah. I. Okay. So normally we when we <laughs> when we film at ten, I gotta be like at Aaron's house at like nine nine ten, which means they need to wake up and like eight, and I need to be up and at it yeah. like. You know, brush my teeth, do the breathing exercises, <laughs> drink my done. coffee. And today we were supposed to film an hour early because that was the availability of the studio, which was means I need to do this whole thing at like <laughs> 7 a.m. And I just didn't really want to do it. I was like, can we just skip this episode? It's so early. He did actually say, let's just skip it. Because <laughs> it's so early. And so I didn't. I didn't skip it. We didn't skip it. I got into the car this morning. I drove my ass over. It was freezing out. I put on my... <laughs> I, <but laughs> freezing? Like, the fact that people wake up at 6 a.m. every day to, to go, like, go to work. No, I know. I couldn't do it. We're going to be an LA influencer. Yeah. Like, he's unrelatable. <laughs> yeah. He's unrelatable. No, there, there's, pe there's plenty of people that also work from home. Like, I... No, I know. That I know, was know. my only thing when I was in high school. The only thing I said when I was like, what do you want to do for a living? What kind of job are you going to get? You're going to work on your resume? The only thing I said was, I do not want to have to wake up, put on, like, clothes, and then go to an office every day. Yeah. What time did you go to bed? Last night? Yeah. Uh, like, 10, 30, 11. He oh, so you got, melatonin. you got, like, nine, ten hours of I could go, sleep. I could go to sleep at 7 p.m., but if I wake up and I see it's, like, before 8, I'm like, ooh, I get to go back to sleep. <laughs> right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the thing about me is, like, I'll wake up at, like, 7, 30 or 8, but I won't get out of bed till like, 10. I just Ooh, love to see bask that? in I my get, bed. Unless I'm like hungover and it's a Sunday, I'll bask in bed. Oh, I have yeah. to get up and out of bed. That's how yeah. Nolan is. She's I like, I get like... depressed. I'm like, I get depressed if I get out of bed. Oh, no. I get depressed <laughs> if I stay in bed. And if Patricia's still in bed, I'm like, uh, 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 get out of bed because <laughs> we're up, not bitch. doing this today. I knew one of my best friend's mom was a nurse when we were growing up and she would wake up at 4 a.m. every day. Yeah. And I, 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 like, I used to have to do that. I one time cried thinking about her waking up at 4 a.m. So I was like... <laughs> How does she do it? It's so what? hard. You're and I, kidding. Me, it's just seven, eight hours. If you got seven, eight hours of sleep, you should be fine. Yeah. You right? are so good at that. Like with jet lag, with Matt, he'll go to like, he went to Dubai one time. First day, just woke up on time. When we go to Italy, uh, perfectly on time. Every and it's time. Not also adrenaline and excitement. If I'm in a new environment, I'm like, let's go. Like I, if I'm on vacation and I know I'm sleeping in, like. It's like a waste. Especially if I know if I'm if I'm in an incredible environment. If there's a beach outside, why am I <laughs> why am I sleeping? Go out, go out, catch up on your Z's, but, but experience like, the shore. Yeah, saw some wood or whatever you said. Saw on logs. Yeah, saw on logs. But we're supposed to have seven eight hours, right? Is our time? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I work here, Dakota Johnson, and you got fourteen. <laughs> I love that. Was, was like, she a she's, cat? <laughs> she's so me. She was like, I need fourteen hours of sleep a night. That's Whoa. more than half the day. I that makes do me that. that makes me more tired. Like. Yeah, if you sleep they, too much. I, when I get like 10 hours, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. But anyways, so Mike got in the car. 
and we we had a little surprise. Well, we they were also in a very him. chipper mood, which was nice. They were like, "Good morning, like, KK hello. King. What's going on?" Yeah, and I don't How like to get him out of his rut. Well, because you walked in, you were like, "Oh, I, I'm not a morning person, <laughs> yeah, guys." That's okay. <laughs> the thing is, I'm not really either. But then they. I don't know what this bit about the group chat with Matt was. I don't know if that was like a... It was just to get you to, to, get you to look at your phone, but then oh. Carly's text took a while it took to forever to send the video. So Carly had sent me a video in text that I didn't receive, but she goes, what did Matt say in text, thinking I'm going to open my phone and see this message from Carly, but it didn't go through in time. So I thought you said something silly, which you didn't, but... Aaron, do you want to show the video? Oh, sure. I'd be happy to. <laughs> Make so, sure you put it on a it. full volume and at the mic. Yeah. And we'll, we'll sync it up so it's Matt, Matt is so confused right now. <laughs> show me. This is what I, within an hour of waking up, this is what I was greeted with. It's a cameo. Good morning, Michael, or should I say Sleepy Mike? <laughs> it is I, your favorite president, Donald J. Trump. Oh, God. I'm so proud of you for mustering up the strength to podcast at 9 a.m. <laughs> haters and losers could never do that. <laughs> You are a true American hero, just like me. I hope you were able to find time to finish your crossword puzzle by the failing New York Times. Uh -uh. I heard the last one it took you 33 minutes. Don't ever repeat this, but I'm telling you, I don't repeat it to anyone whatsoever. But the very brain woman you work with are much, much, much smarter. Have fun today with the snowflake lives. And give my love to Crazy Bernie. God bless. Is that incredible? <laughs> Man, my guy's Did good. you guys book that? Yeah. How much was it? It ended 70 up being bucks. like 70. I mean, his his rate is only like 20 something, but we needed it in 24 hours. And also we had to buy extra characters because it only allowed so many. So we had to buy like $10 worth of extra characters. Wow. And, and then, then we messaged him, which you have to pay $3 to do. Yes. It's yeah. like OnlyFans. But I was like dying at the thought of before he sent it, like him at the podium, like saying these things. <laughs> yeah, Dude. Mike. Sleepy Mike. That's me. I wonder Sleepy if he's Mike. like a one take wonder. He, he has to be. He has yeah. a teleprompter yeah. going yeah. on. A couple. In that. Yeah. And I can't tell if he's actually like obsessed with Trump or if I know. he's just like making in on fun. the bit. Yeah. I don't I think, think it's just a that... gig to make money. Yeah. yeah I, I feel, feel like people who do impressions of Trump probably are not fans of his. That's you a have fair to be... assessment. Yeah, I don't know. You have to like understand the humor of it. <laughs> right, to do right, it. right. If you if you're like, like a diehard, I yeah, I feel like it's like the same with people who are like don't disrespect the flag. They'd mm. be like don't, don't disrespect, disrespect Trump. Trump. Mm -hmm. Like you're making fun of him. Although when those guys do go to the Trump rallies, the Trump they fans seem to love them. Well, the impressionists. Yeah, like like oh. they'll go to a Trump rally, and be like this guy is the worst, and people will like love it. Like the MAGA people love it. But I don't know that they would actually ever do it. A, because they're probably not. I love and people who do impressions like on TikTok, on me the too. internet. Love it. If you if you bring that around me in person, <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck out. Wait, it. really? <laughs> like, what if there's you, a point where like he gets a little just like, all right, cut, cut the shit. Like even like this, like Courtney. Oh no! See, that's fine. No, but, but if, if like someone's crazy? in a full on, I'm this person. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't escape me. I'm gonna be talking <laughs> to you for the next hour. What no, no, no. Who's who doing this for an hour? I People who hire impressionists to come oh, to parties. Oh, oh okay. Taylor I thought you just meant like a friend. Oh no, no, no. A friend. Do an impression. I don't care. Who's your You're friend? You always put me on the spot, Mike. Do yes. Harrison Ford ordering a sandwich. Yeah, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do, do that? Oh. No, but Matt just puts like things that is. Like, oh, I love just like. Uh, talking about people or uh, doing impressions of people who we can't do, but see, just try. Like oh, who? yeah. Like, like what I was just saying, do Harrison Ford ordering a sandwich. And I'll be like, uh, hey, <laughs> can make it with cheese. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll start like that. That's funny. I like, yeah. I like the workshopping of an impression. Yeah, yeah. But if someone goes, hey guys, I hired a Trump impressionist oh, to be in this room for us for a whole hour, shoot me. Wait, do you remember that Viner who was like the Obama impressionist and he would like come around sometimes? Oh, yeah, Heather, Heather's brother. No, wait, no, 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 no. the other guy. Talking about Luke? Yeah. No. Yes, that one guy. Yeah. Didn't he date somebody really famous? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I didn't like know this okay, person. Okay, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. So did you get icked out when Jason was Dr. Phil? That was because I would get icked out because I could do a better Dr. Phil impression <laughs> oh, than him. Okay, let's hear it. Oh, Jason was like this, and I'm like, Dr. Phil, you need to be cutting down on the cake. You oh, sound, uh, yeah. You need to be honest with yourself. 
and not addressing the audience. Like, that's a good... Your A's are so good. They're Wait, deep. say it. Do it again. Uh, you need to cut, start cutting down on the cake and start focusing on your family. <laughs> I think it's, it's very better early than Jason. In the I think Jason no, is Jason's, unbelievable. No, I think Jason's is when better. When he did well, the Hoot and a Half episode, Jason did a Hoot and a Half episode, 30, 40 minutes just as <laughs> Dr. Phil. Yeah. I've never laughed harder in my entire <laughs> it life. It was funny, but I don't know that what like, kind of accent that was because it wasn't like Texas. He's like, is that what you're going to say? Well, yeah, you also wow. do have, like, the Texas twang. Yeah. I know. I think I just have an ear for it, and I can, like, when he starts doing it, I'm like, uh-uh, it's this. And then he's yeah. like, Jason's always like, damn, that's it. What What is your best impression? Is that it? Oh, I don't even like doing impressions. I like doing impressions of other people. Okay, who then, like, do someone. I, I'm not can I, can I do my Matt King impression? Yeah. Buddy, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and that then, never happened. And then this is Matt frustrated. Oh, Patricia, I just, oh. <laughs> oh that is good. The, oh. Yeah. You do, it's oh, like, I just, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Because I mean it. I do. <laughs> right. Cut it out, cut it out. Cut it out. No, <laughs> no, that was that stupid. That cut was stupid. That was stupid. Cut it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's out of love. It's out of love. Okay, no, do of me. course. You want me to hear Aaron's impression? Yeah. I know. Um, I don't think you'll do a better impression of me than Jason. Uh, an impression of Aaron. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's pretty that's cute. Like, that's like an Aaron thing. She does. Yeah. Oh, or. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Carly. <laughs> that's in the car. Yeah. Okay, do you mind? Um. Well, I'm Carly, and I just like Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. Misogynist. <laughs> I do not talk like that. I do not talk like that. Wow, Matt does really a good impression good of me. really good spot on. What? Yeah, it's, me. it's, it's me, Mike Zephyr. <laughs> My <laughs> God. Rude. <laughs> it's more, it's a caricature of Mike Zephyr. No, not, that's how I sound. I um, not really. <clears throat> I have some news. Tell me. Well, I got a little drunk last night with some friends and they were talking about Letterboxd and I was like, oh, I have a friend who loves Letterboxd. And then they were like, it's great. So I downloaded it. Okay. And? And I would, don't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hard? It's like kind of hard. It's just your It's like not really user logging, friendly. Okay. Reviewing. Okay. Um, but I went to your profile after hours of trying to figure out how to get to it so yeah. I could follow you. And I started cracking up because I somehow made it to a point where it says Matt, <laughs> Matt King added. So there's like a feed on every okay. person's thing. And it just said, Matt King added, how? <laughs> what? <laughs> Matt King added, I can't even say <laughs> Matt King added, how to have sex to his watch list. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It's what? a new movie that's coming out called How to Have Sex. Jesus. Like it's a documentary or a movie? No, it's like know. a it's like this film it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, um, and then it's funny. There's the last movie I added was How But I think it's cool. I like that it's like, Carly, it's, yeah, no, I was like, it's a self dying. book. Because I was like, oh, how, how do I like add movies? Cause, okay, so I downloaded it. Aaron's are all like, And I was a, a little tipsy and it pops up and it's like, <laughs> click some movies you've seen but then i did that for 30 minutes oh because it just keeps going yeah but then it made them all for that day that like i watched them all on december 13th did you press watch oh. yeah i just clicked the little eyeball oh, oh it's okay it that's matter. okay that's okay. That, that's okay that's uh, okay no how issues. many did you log uh a oh god hundred? i have no idea it's a little fun thing to be like, oh, I remember that movie, or I want to see that again. Okay, but that yes, that's the thing is, it's like I know I've seen a lot of these, but I don't remember so many yeah. of them. So like those ones, it's I was hard. like, I'm not going to count like, those. Yeah, yeah, then don't. Um, if you've seen it, I would say count it. Oh, adding a good rewatched too. Um, you can put rewatched. One of your you can, reviews. If you rewatch it, oh, one of my reviews. That what did me, I say? Lol. I haven't added I some. I haven't wrote. Um, usually, I'll, I'll, rev I'll, I'll rate it and then I'll come back and I write a review. Yeah, they were good. Um, but I like that, Carly, it's like MySpace. You can pick like your top four. Yes. Oh, oh is that why they do those interviews? Yeah, they go, what are your top four favorite films when they interview celebrities oh, on God. red carpets? Letterbox always asks them. God. Oh, I'd be like, oh, I tried finding you. I couldn't on, in his friends. because oh, you're like, he doesn't even have a profile picture. Oh, is it Sheffer 89? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love how you know my personal email. <laughs> Chef no, 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 that was the username. But yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, that's... there's nothing on here. Were you born in 1989? No. No. Oh. You were? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Me, T-Swift. So you're 34. 
I'm 19 years old. <laughs> okay. Should we give them their gifts? Speaking of movies. Wait, yes, I, want, I want to finish talking surprises. about it. Huh? I want to finish oh, talking I'm about sorry. it. Okay, yeah. Your top four. My top four. Yeah. Is When Harry Met Sally, 20th Century Women, Rear Window, and Bring It On. I what? die that bring it on. Bring it on? Because bring it on. <laughs> I haven't watched it in so long. God, there's something that that movie does to me yeah. where. Boing! <laughs> I get but now it's weird because I'm like an adult and those are a bunch of like teenage cheerleaders. But when I was yeah, a kid, like 30. yeah, they're older. But when I was life. a kid, we had a cheerleader who was like our babysitter, and she would like come over and she'd be like, "We're watching Bring It On. Mm -hmm. Don't tell your parents." And I was like, "Oh!" So it was like this forbidden fruit. I would sit there just mesmerized with the film. I like the storyline. I like the actors. I love the moment in time. I, I love know. how early 2000s it is. It was also like the I hairstyles think, pre 9 11, like months before 9 11. <laughs> oh, really? It was such a last fucking like teen iconic movie. And it's very rare to come across Bring It On now, like on streaming and stuff. It showed it was up in... on my TV the other day, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to put it on. But then it was like, you have to pay, like $12.99. Oh, you have to always buy Bring It On. It's Rarely crazy. do they ever make it like so available weird. for it's streaming. It's such an old movie. I there know. was a good two years where it was in the vault, and you couldn't get it anywhere. In the vault? Yeah. Like, okay, geez. Taylor. Yeah, what the Bring hell? Bring It On. I love bringing Taylor's it on. version. But I think when you do your letterbox four, you should always have like the movie that <laughs> speaks the most of you, the movie that touched your heart, the oldest movie you liked, and just a fun one in there that you just will always connect with and Mine. you can quote. <laughs> What are yours? We'll be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Rocket Money. Rocket Money is one of my favorite and our favorite apps. I use it literally every day. At the beginning of the month, it tells you how much money you've spent compared to how much you spent last month. So it's really good for budgeting. It helps me recognize subscriptions that I may have signed up for, whether it's a free trial or just something they don't really use anymore. It's so convenient. It's so helpful. I can't recommend Rocket Money enough. So what is Rocket Money? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. You can see all of your subscriptions in one place, and if there's something that you don't want, you can cancel it with a tap. You never have to get on the phone with customer service. And they'll even try to get you a refund in the last couple of months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash good. That's rocketmoney, R-O-C-K-E-T-M-O-N-E-Y dot com slash good, G-O-O-D. Rocketmoney.com slash good. And now back to the episode. Guess. Uh, Guess one. Twilight. The, the holiday. The, the no. jingle ball. <laughs> You're right. The holiday. The holiday. Ten Great. things I hate about you. Yep. Wow. That's number one. How um, many are there four? Yeah. Um. Wait, have you just already guessed three? Two. I guessed two. Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> the Lion King. I don't no, really know what kind is... of movies you like, Aaron. Yeah. This is okay, kinda... ten things I hate about you. Freaky Friday. Oh. Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, oh that's a good oh, one. And The Holiday. That's, that's my genre. Crazy Stupid Love is... It's a really good one. It's way better than it should be. It's a phenomenal movie. And that's true. It is way better than the it twist. Be. Oh, it's so it's it's like a fucking mystery. I know. That's and I'm someone who it's like, a Hitchcock does film. a pretty good job of like figuring out what's gonna happen. Mm. That one had my mouth on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing that in theaters. It's, it's a thriller. Like, oh. <laughs> it's yeah. a thriller. It is a thriller. When are you and me gonna go to the ten things I hate about you school? Oh, we gotta go. That Where is be, it? It to Washington or <laughs> yeah. is it Vancouver? No, I think it's it's in Washington. The amount of trips we plan on here. But that this never one happened. we have talked about so many times on this podcast. People have emailed us being like, "I will show you around." Oh my yeah. God. Okay. And you know what, that should be like our resolute uh, goal for next year for twenty twenty four. Even though it's twenty twenty four. Yeah, we like goals, not resolutions. We were talking about this show. yesterday because I feel like resolutions <clears throat> are like so easy to just like well. But yeah. goals, it's like, that would be a good goal. Because mm. I'm not really... Resol like a resolution, like going on a trip, how's that a resolution? No, I think resolution is something you're committing to. Yeah. Like, you're stri it's like a, a trait you're striving to be better at. Like, I'm... A goal is something you achieve. Yeah. How many Americans do you think make New Year's resolutions? <laughs> Percentage-wise. Um, we I would actually say like seventy oh, no. percent. That's what I 
said. I think it's like 30%. It's like, I think it was like 46, yeah. 47%. Oh, and then it said by so. the second week, almost all of them are done. Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought it would be like so many people did it, but then obviously everyone fails. Yeah. That's why we were like, let's just make goals. There's too much pressure on I think goals sometimes you don't achieve them and then it makes you depressed. I think you should just strive <laughs> to be the best version of yourself and be a better <laughs> version of the person that you were yesterday, nah, today. Yeah, but like when it comes to going to see the 10 things I hate about you school, I don't like think that would make me a better person. Do you know 10 it things might. I hate about you? Fun fact, I always say this every time it's brought up, is Taming of the Shrew. Yes. William Shakespeare, 10 things I hate about you, we gotta Taming go. of the Shrew. Let's go. It's Seattle, right? I think... Yeah, I think so. We're the, we'll we're the, we're the city where there's the big troll that lives under the bridge. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you remember in 10 Things I Hate About You, he's giving her French lessons and they go underneath that bridge and there's that like, there's a troll that's like a big statue <laughs> that a bunch of people take pictures of I when you're in don't Seattle. It is a quick flight. Yeah. I feel like we should we do go it. go to the San Juan Islands too. I think that's like part of it. Yeah. Are, like is the, there, are there students at the school now? I think so. Like it's in operation? It's the I, coolest looking high school so. ever. It's just this massive old building and then this huge like bowl stadium. And it yeah. looks out over a the water. Bowl we gotta bring a golf club. Like a bowl stadium. Like it's dug into the ground kind of. For like, like football? Yeah. Yes. I rated one movie so far. What was it? Violent Night. Oh, the one with... Uh, Viggo Mortensen? No, with David Harbour. Did you like it? <laughs> Yeah, I loved it. Really? I hated it. What? Oh. It's so funny. I didn't like the set. I felt the rooms were so big. It looked well, like they're they in were, like a mansion. Yeah, but they were all like on sound stages. I like it when like interiors are really believable okay, and I yeah. feel like I'm in it. There was just some parts in that I go, what's going on? When here? you just can tell that they're at, at, in Burbank, like at a yeah. studio. <laughs> so we were watching it for different reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was, was very, very like, violent. Cheap. Yeah, but like in a funny way. Like when it would, ha like when people get hurt, it was funny. Yeah. Oh, like, Aaron thinks violence is funny. She's I, yeah. so insufferable. <laughs> I gave it five stars. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> five okay. stars. Five stars. It has to change your life. <laughs> it did. Three is a good film. Milan is five stars for me. I do five stars. That's okay. For people like if I if someone asked me what movies I should watch, that's like my recommended list. Is anything oh. that's five star, I'd recommend you watch. Yeah, I think I'll only ever give Violent Night a five star. Four stars, I'll always recommend. Five stars, though, it it did something inside of me. Like Would I salt walked burn? out a different person. Wow. Uh, Saltburn four four stars, four and a half maybe. What uh, um the whole idea with four and a half? It's just ten. What do you mean? Huh? You if mean it's just five, five stars that have half stars is a rating out of 10. And it's like, wh what are we doing here? Simplifying it. It's not. It's oh, more difficult because How? it's like. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you like have half, there's five. And 4.5 you can do it, it's is nine. Right. Why are we just, why are we not just doing nine? Because it, I don't know. I, I don't get it. It's too early. Because it's like a five star hotel. It's a true rating. We rate things no, on five stars. It, Yelp is five stars. Is there a three and a half star hotel? Yes. Yeah, of course. I think three so. Three and a half? No, isn't it one, two, three, four, five? That's yeah, the whole point I, I of five. Great halves. Well, I like Dunstan the halves. Dunstan checks in. Remember in Dunstan yeah, checks in? I wish on that book, Goodreads had halves. I do, we too. We say that all the time. I do, too. They're oh, out Because yeah. it's like not a three, but not a four. It's just right Or it's not middle. a four, but it's definitely right. not a five. Right, if it's not yeah. a three and it's not a four, it's called a seven. Oh, come because on. we're just rating this out of 10 anyway. Okay. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're rating it out of five. <laughs> what yeah. kind of mattresses do you guys have? Oh, well, mine. Why Which are we just down? You, This is really weird. Yeah. I have. Oops. Did you guys buy us mattresses? Yeah. Surprise. No, no. Like all these things we've been talking about on our we podcast. We were talking about, Aaron asked me like what mattress I had and I was saying how um, Pillow Cube was very nice and like sent me a mattress. You got with... one? Pillow Cube I makes their ads yeah. all the time. They sent me a mattress when I got a new bed. I got a king size bed and it was so fucking nice. It's really comfortable. But Aaron looked up the price of it when we were doing it's our podcast. It's $4,000. <laughs> and they sent you one? Yeah. For what? You just well, we sent them together. tit pics. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> send them some nudes. No, um, for, for what? You sent pics of you sleeping. For what? They send you a match. <laughs> no, they've sent, like, pillows and stuff, and then he was like, he just, I was on I the phone with him. I just asked Patricia for a mattress for Christmas last night. Yeah. I mean, he, she could probably reach out. I don't know. <laughs> you asked her for a mattress? Well, you know what? For Christmas, she goes, what do like you want? Shared... This is your budget. I hope she gets in the Walmart mattress. Yeah. You know what? I'd rather I'm going to send her the, the link to the Walmart mattress. I'd rather her spend the money on, like, the Christmas present for something that's going to benefit like us, us. than it be me but mattresses I, are so expensive 
I know, but it's Christmas. <laughs> what? He bought a ring. Not a four thousand okay. dollar one. Yeah, I've spent plenty yeah. on her. Well, speaking of gifts. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how to like go about this really, but can we talk about mattresses for a second? Yeah. Oh, sure. When I first moved here. <laughs> uh, my good friend Matt let me stay at his house for a couple days and then we found an apartment. And then your better friend. And then my, okay. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and then I met Carly and Aaron while Aaron was wedding dress shopping and I didn't have a bed to sleep on so I was sleeping on the floor in my new apartment and Aaron lent me her air mattress mm -hmm. after meeting her for one time and that's what the bed that I slept on for like two weeks when I was living in LA and then I was like looking for a mattress and my brother Sam who shares a office space with Casey Neistat in New York was like, Casey has a bunch of these like mattresses that brands send him. Oh. And oh, yeah. he's like, I could just send you one of these because Casey doesn't want them. Uh, so Sam like pay, it, I mean, it costs like whatever, 300 bucks to from ship Manhattan. a fucking, yeah, from Manhattan. And it weighs like 70 pounds. He told me it was a queen. And so I bought like a queen size frame. I built it. Oh, no. I got the mattress and they didn't ship it to my apartment. They shipped it for some reason to like an apartment down the street. So I had to like, like lift it on my skateboard and like, <laughs> like wobble it over, carry it. Out. It was a fucking nightmare. And then I unroll it and it turned out to be a king size bed. Oh, so boy. now I just had to, and I realized like I couldn't fit it. So I had to put the king size bed in my living room. Oh yeah. And then I had to disassemble. Oh, and then no. what I realized also is those mattresses, like they come in a box rolled up. Yeah. yeah. But they're only supposed to be rolled up for like 24 hours. Like in their warehouses, they're all flat. Then right before they ship, they roll it up and then you get it the next day and then you unroll it. This thing was rolled up in the box for like three years. So oh no. for like the first like year, like half of the mattress was like still <laughs> like it like wouldn't unroll. Oh no. And now like that side of the bed is still like I would say like three inches shorter. Well, it's you only still have it. To this oh, day. yeah, I still have it to this day. It's a great mattress. What's I don't the know, brand? I don't know what brand. It's one of the it's brands. It's Casper. The Casper. It's not Casper. Uh, purple Lisa? mattress. No. Purple? Not purple. No. I, I have don't a Lisa. Know. I love my mattress. Lisa. Lisa. L E E S A. Ooh. I have an avocado. Avocado. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. It's so crazy. I've That's never the, heard of that brand outside I of you. Know. That's the. They do Does like it the eco. Smell like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's scented like an avocado. No, that they're makes like for eco. A deeper sleep. But I also, when you're looking for mattresses online, it is the most overwhelming experience like yeah. it is so difficult to know what's good what's bad like are they made with formaldehydes and like is totally. this like it's so difficult oh yeah the mattress market freaks me out how there's like a mattress store across the street from a mattress store oh, yeah. and then there's all these money laundering mattress stores i think so it's bizarre there's a lot of conspiracy theories about them i and... remember why we started talking about mattresses it was because of the am i the asshole and i do think it is one that matt and mike would like the, okay, oh. so basically this couple, <laughs> they were going home to visit one of their families and wealthy family, a very wealthy family. They just like moved or something. And so they were making up a new guest room for, the, you know, their kids to come home and sleep in. And they, instead of buying <coughs> a new mattress, decided that they were going to buy a mattress from a friend whose mom just died in the bed. <laughs> and so the couple was like, how about we don't do that? Like, we're willing to chip in and like we can split the cost of the mattress. And it's like, this is the mattress we'll be using every time we stay there. And the parents refused. So then the couple was like, OK, we're just going to stay at a hotel then because we don't want to sleep on a bed. a bed where a woman died. Yeah. Yes. And so then both Carly and I were like, yeah, just like get a new mattress. I would be freaked out. Yeah, that's not good, man. What would you do? <laughs> I would, I would not. totally be way more confrontational in this. <laughs> And I would like, be like, hey, hey, hey uh -uh. <laughs> sit, sit down. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to be upset because we want to stay at the hotel because you bought a mattress that somebody died in, <laughs> look, other, have, I would have other people start coming over. <laughs> Come on. over. Oh, you're walking your dog? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Listen to this fucking argument. <laughs> so do you think we're the asshole? Like, I would do that to their fucking face yeah. to make them realize and then be it's like, insane. You, are you really buying them a mattress where somebody like died, Bill? Knowing they're wealthy. I know. It's like, okay, if they didn't have any money, I mean, it, it would make way option, more sense. Yeah, But you, like we said, you can get a comfortable mattress from Walmart. Like literally. Yeah. Or and, get, and then just get a mattress like, topper from Amazon no, for like a hundred yes. bucks. Yes, that's, that's what, what I, we have yeah. on our pullout. And it's everyone is like, This is the most comfortable bed I've slept on. Oh, really? Yeah. Little you mattress know, topper. You know I've heard this like a hack to get a free mattress. Oh, here we oh. I've heard this too. But yeah, I, I have don't two. do it. Don't do it because do you, it might not work out for you yes. and you're gonna be mad at me. 
You <laughs> call and order a mattress. The mattress comes. You get it, and you go. You know what? I don't well, like hold it. Hold on. First of all, what? the point is the preface is all of these mattress companies have like a hundred day night trial. Yes, that's the point. You don't just order it and the next day say I don't want it. Oh, they have like their hundred day sleep trial or ninety day sleep trial, which is three months. Correct. Then continue. So then you order the mattress. You get the mattress. You then say that you don't like it, and sometimes they'll just be like. Keep and it. just donate it. Right. They don't want to take it back. They yeah. don't want to have to send you a box for you to package it up. It's too cumbersome for them to accept it. So they'll be like, please just go donate it. Here's your money back. Don't donate Damn. it. Keep the mattress. And you Pillow just got a free mattress. But then what? what happens if they're like, okay, okay take send it, it back. back. Then I'd be oh, like, oh, never mind, never mind. Yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 I take it back. <laughs> It was. But that was that was like a thing on Reddit where like there was a guy who's like I have not paid for a mattress for like two years because he would just go from every mattress I think company. We read this on the like life pro we tips, definitely like, yeah. talked about it. life pro tips or something like yeah. that. Yeah, pillows though. I ordered pillows one time from like some company and they were not good. Like, I have the best one. What's your best pillow? I gotta send it to you. What is, is it, it is it thick, dude? It is everything you've dreamt of. But I, I stayed at an Airbnb one time. And I was sleeping on this bed. I go, this is the best pillow <laughs> I think I have ever used. It's like, it feels like a very luxurious pillow that you would stay, get at a really nice hotel. Almost like it's full of feathers, but there's still like... When you put your head on it, though, does it go f f f and then flatten out? Or does it keep your head higher off the pillow? Or higher off the Both. bed? Both. Both, Mike. <laughs> it's the I'll best. I'll need to try it next time I'm at your house. Oh, what my you gosh. Um, I have been searching for the perfect pillow literally my entire life. No. Um, I was in New York at a friend's house and they had this pillow that I was like, this is the one that I'm looking for. I want a pillow that is obviously soft, not hard, but when you put your head on it, so many pillows just go flat and then it's like basically like you don't even have a pillow. I don't get the point. I want like a good six inches of like my head off the thing because I sleep on my side. Maybe yeah. pillow cube's good, but I ordered it off Amazon. And I feel like, like pillow cube. the lifetime of pillows for me is just like after like six months, they're just they just don't have it anymore. I have a pillow cube you can try. Really? Do you yeah. like it? No. <gasps> it's just like too square. Like I like a pillow that you can like mush. Right. But with pillow cube, it like holds the shape. How many pillows are on your bed right now? Four. Okay. That's reasonable. Pillow cube was two. Including TJ's? Yeah. Thick for me. I, I need a one centimeter. That's crazy. Okay. That's crazy. Mine are yeah. from. Okay, it's eighty dollars for two. Is okay. that too much for you? No, that's too reasonable. Bad. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Is that laughs> sometimes Mike likes a good deal. He's gonna be like eighty dollars for two <laughs> for two pillows. What kind of racket is that? Okay. Um, it, it's on sale, and the sale ends in thirteen hours. Okay. Oh, it's oh, from shit. a brand called Peace Nest. And it's a two-pack feather in down bed pillows for side and back sleepers. Can I see what they look like. Ugh. The, oh. the images aren't loading, mm -hmm. but they look Target? like white pillows. <laughs> like, it's no, it's uh, oh, Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond or uh, Do you have Snowdrop at your house? No. You didn't get it this year? What's no, Snowdrop? No, because I haven't been Snowdrop. to Target or anything. I want, it's that soap that she was talking about. I want to try it before scent. I commit to buying it. Remember just we talked about it. her? I like, told you can go to Target and smell it before. I mean, you can smell it. We can it. go after. People right now are listening to this. Yeah, going, oh, are, they, are, they, are they exchanging soaps right now? <laughs> they love it. They want the tea. They want to know about our life. What time are we going to? This episode is sponsored by Every Plate. It's a new year. We're all looking to change things up, like budgeting your food expenses. Save big and eat great with America's best value meal kit. Their meals are cheaper than your average fast casual meal. So ditch the takeout to save the money while still enjoying fresh, satisfying meals. In 2024, you can count on Every Plate to make meal times easier without compromising on quality. Every Plate recipes include only the highest quality ingredients, including sustainably sourced seafood that meets the Monterey Bay Aquarium seafood rankings. So you know your meals will be fresh and flavorful. Make the sustainable choice this January. Every Plate offsets 100% of their delivery emissions and their meals have a 31% lower carbon footprint on average than supermarket meals of the same portion. Plus, nearly all packaging materials are curbside recyclable in most areas in the US. The best thing about it, it shows up to your door. It's so easy to make. They are so delicious and you're truly saving money. Get a meal for $1.49 plus $1 steaks for life by going to everyplate.com slash podcast and entering code 
49 good subscription must be active to qualify and redeem one dollar steak get started with every plate for just one dollar and 49 cents per meal plus one dollar steaks for life by going to everyplate.com slash podcast and entering code 49 good subscription must be active to qualify and redeem one dollar steak that's up to a 110 dollar value Ben tonight no like normally like a normal night like not an out night for midnight, I've been, oh, yeah. I've been reading myself to sleep. Oh, really? Oh my god, me too. I love it. It's a book called TikTok. I don't know if you ever heard of it. No, that's an oh. app. <laughs> I was like, what book is that? <laughs> me too. I'm really? trying to get to such like a book stop though, because Patricia's not reading, and she'll just be on TikTok, and I'm just reading, like, and I can hear. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just turn that shit Tell off. Tell to plop an AirPod in. That's oh. what I do, because no one like is always oh. sleep way before me, so I'll just pop an AirPod. You're in. a really like conscious sleeper yeah well like, i don't want to be rude consider it. Yeah, like consider she it. said that the other night she was wearing an eye mask and it's velcro and she literally like left the room no to... i didn't i just oh. left it oh carly well, I, just left I think it, it made breakfast rude. with it on if somebody was sleeping next to you and you went <laughs> yeah but like it right? happens no? i don't think it would no. be rude no uh no i'm with i'm with carly like it, there's no right answer here they're both like i think reasonable i just feel bad to like wake him up yeah i'm going <laughs> Because it's loud. The, too. I, that, the worst is when people are just not considerate of people sleeping. That if I'm I think sleeping, that's why I am because I don't I don't like when people aren't considerate of my sleep. So someone, I'm very aware of other people's but sleep. But I think but that I'm, you're also like that helps your sleep as well. Like when like you're sleeping and you hear somebody else is up, I love it because I'm like, <laughs> I still get to sleep. <laughs> I can't stand it. If they're in the same room and I hear them up, I like can't fall back asleep until they're out of, out of the room. Oh. Yeah, there's like energy about people who are awake and like I don't want that awake energy <laughs> near me. Like, <laughs> That's energy. how I feel. I literally feel that. You, there's like, Yeah, like when I used to live in college, like the dorm, it's just like if yes. you know that there's people up like in the same vicinity as you it's i couldn't fall asleep yes. if there's just like awake energy near me it's the that's why i don't like living in an apartment either because like if i know there's people like Above hanging out you. near me or around me oh, it's not even it, it's like it'd be this quietest noise that like if it was just like an animal outside like drinking water or something i don't care but there's like this awake <laughs> energy that i think is like i don't know i don't like it so i appreciate that I'm okay with like. But what if you like you lived in New York and like you heard people like, I hated outside? It. You're like, shut up! Yeah, I hate it. I <laughs> it's hate like, it's it. New York. Uh, well, you gotta. You're in that, the big city. You gotta sleep with a box fan. You won't hear shit. That's why I moved here. I hate. I don't like that. If I lived on like a farm where there wasn't a human being for like 20 miles, I would be so happy. <laughs> you're I don't rooster. Care. The cows yeah, are rooster. different. Very cow energy is different than human energy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be concerned about cow energy. But what about rooster energy? That would piss you oh, off. Oh, I would. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Where is he? What's for dinner? <laughs> Do people eat rooster? No, I don't think so. Or is rooster just chicken? Yeah, but it's a male hen. This is not one of those things I never know. Who, Hens rooster, lay the eggs. Hen. Roosters can't lay eggs. What's a chicken? A chicken? Yeah, is a chicken a rooster? Is a rooster a chicken? A chicken's a hen. A chicken. They're both chickens. Hen's a woman. <laughs> Hen, Hen is, is a woman. woman. Hen is a woman. Roosters the, yeah, yeah. the man. So they're both chickens. So we are eating roosters. Or are we only eating the female? I don't uh, no. know if I care. Uh, no, you I don't think, care? I don't care. Well, I think we uh, I'm asking mostly eat GPT. female ones because we like use them for their eggs. And when they're done with the eggs, then we just like kill them. Uh, like. I saw the grossest TikTok. Oh, oh my God. Well, oh, it was Bad Friends. There, I think it might be in the Philippines. I'm so sorry to people in the Philippines, but um, oh my there God. we go. You, they <laughs> take the so they have this like delicacy that I forget what it's called, but oh my God, I'm gonna gag. It's they like Faux wait, and I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know how you have like a egg, yes. they like let the chicken in it like grow a little bit. And then that becomes like the food. Ew, oh, it's alive. Like an embryo chicken. Yes, and, and they, they just eat, eat it. Yes, raw? Like Bobby, we, guys, you eat eggs. That's like literally the yes, reproduction. Yes, but you're no, eating like fetus like feet. chicken, like chicken fetus. Ew. That's like that's no. I'm saying like you're eating the chicken. Yum 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 yum. And yum. it's like <laughs> no, it's literally like a little like you can see it. Like Bobby Lee like opened oh. the egg, 
and Andrew was like gagging the whole time. It was very yeah. funny. I was just listening to Andrew Santino on the way here. Yeah, he's funny. Oh, he's yeah, funny. he's funny. very funny. I've yeah. been. Do you know what Bogua is though? No. Or it's like fattened uh, duck and goose, but the way they do it is that they inject fat into their mouths. Yeah, they like force they, feed these they ducks. They force feed them like fat Sad. into their mouths, like, Bleh, and they like, squ- like they hose it. They grab them by their neck, <gasps> squeeze it down all the fat, and then they make their bellies all fat, and then they die, oh. and then oh. you get this good tasting duck. Ew! It's called uh, you know what? Balut. I think I could eat it. If he no, this is like fear factor. Yeah. Oh no 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 no, 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 That is a fear factor. Oh, no, I, I, no, I wouldn't no. like eating it, but I could. It's a fertilized developing egg embryo that is boiled or steamed and eaten from the shell. You could eat that? If if, if I was on a game oh show. Oh my god, my I stomach could. is like I don't like that at all. Turning. Okay, so chat GPT. Chickens encompass both hens and roosters. Hens are female chickens responsible for laying eggs, while roosters <laughs> are male chickens for crowing and fertilizing the eggs. Hens lay eggs regardless of whether they're mated with a rooster, but for them to be fertile, they need the rooster. Yeah. And That's I said, like well, a woman. So like what we're eating is just... Well, okay. I said, well, when we eat, are we eating roosters or hen? And it said, we typically eat both. So you huh. eat the things with the red things that go gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Gobble, gobble, bitch. Well, they're turkeys. But yeah, turkeys are roosters, though. Oh. And turkeys female- are- Female turkeys are hens. Back check that. Oh, is that- it's just a different type of bird, but they still are roosters and hens. Gotcha. Hmm. You ever look up those things like a murder of crows, a gaggle of geese? Yes. A, a par- parade of lions. Of fish. Par- a pride pride of, lions. of lions. Wasn't that a um, New York Times? Yeah, one of those. Uh, Probably. That, that connections. Those are good. I think it was a connections. Yeah. Because it was like well, school. Mr. 33 minutes over geese. here probably has no idea. It was I one. will smash your fucking <laughs> yeah. face to that microphone <laughs> if you slam it one more time. Well, I have some sleep facts. Okay. okay. Just some interesting ones. The longest someone has gone without sleep is 11 days and 25 this minutes. This is the radio DJ? Uh, While well, still in high school, a student went... 264.4 hours without sleep, for which he won first place in the 10th annual Great San Diego Science Fair in 1964. When he asked he have, if he, oh sorry, when he asked if he'd do it again, Randy gave a resounding no. <laughs> Others claimed to have been Randy's record, but none of their attempts were done under strict observation like Randy's was. So there was no way to know if it was legitimate. Dude, Does that, he have insomnia? Yeah, that shit would like Doesn't kill say. you. I don't think that is 11 days. There's I no think, way. I think you died. Hallucinating. Yeah, maybe he was I on know, drugs. No, you're falling hallucinating. I think back in the 50s or 60s, there was a radio DJ who decided he was going to stay up as long as he could for a big radio broadcast. And by the end of it, he was losing his mind, and they had to like arrest him because he was oh just seeing the, shit. Did you fifty him? Uh, I guess so, but he was just going psychotic on the That's air. That's how I felt at Black Friday when I worked at Target. I stood up all night and I worked Black Friday, and I was like, I'm seeing things. Wow. David Blaine Eleven talked about that. Days. That's too much. I think you start to lose it after like three. I could stay up. I think I could stay up. How how long do you think you could stay? Oh wait. I stayed up consecutively. <laughs> consecutively for two full days and i had to go to the doctor to have them prescribe me ambien so i could sleep Were you because molly? i lost it what you could was i on molly yeah what was going on i just i was just going through it a traumatic i couldn't time. sleep do we know you or this was before we no, knew you, you knew me <gasps> i think i have some stories about ambien too in here somewhere like people on ambien because those stories are crazy i love ambien stories can we get our gift before we continue oh sure <laughs> sorry well, i just got it struck with the holiday mood okay um, maybe I'll just have them open it first and I can explain. <coughs> There's one for each of you. So oh, guys. Reach whoever... your hands in. Yeah, reach oh, your you hands in. Oh, you know what in. I realized? These little Santa things with no eyes are gnomes. <laughs> are you dumb? Of course they are. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was like a Santa's with no eyes. It was like an aesthetic thing. Oh, no, they're no. no, they're garden gnomes. I posted on my Snapchat and I got <laughs> roasted to bits. Yeah, of course. Oh, when I went to Marshall's, they had a bunch of these, and then they literally just have this exact thing, but it was literally just completely painted blue, and it was on the Hanukkah section. Oh. And I was like, oh, okay, they're trying. Um, well, I feel like you should both reach yeah, in. Reach in Is there one that's better than the other? No, they're no. the same. Oh, guys. You're going to give us our gifts after, right? <laughs> oh. You really got to read what it says. Read what it says. Hallmark Channel, number one <laughs> fan. <laughs> Wow. (laughs) Yesterday, I was walking to my car, and my neighbor works for Hallmark, apparently. What? He had this whole bin of merch, 
and he was like i was like oh my friend's gonna die i was like thinking of specifically you matt <laughs> and he was like if he if he wants like merch i'll i'll send him a box of merch so of hallmark wants. merch <laughs> yeah bring it on i actually would love it if oh only my we had God. known we could have had him on the episode I know. Oh, did yeah. you tell him we did a whole hallmark episode yeah i told him about it yeah well i'll have to send it to them maybe we'll i don't get... know if he was offended though wait <laughs> they were to hallmark. can we go to christmas con <laughs> yeah we can they hook it, it up we missed it, but maybe next year. No, next year. We this be will be great for us. I oh, to... these are so comfy. Really? Okay, great. I didn't know if they'd be like silly or what. But... So if you're if you're only listening, they oh, are red slippers. Are... They say, what do they say? Number one fan of Hallmark oh, or something? Hallmark, Hallmark channel, channel number, number one, one fan. fan. Also, oh, I saw some nice yeah. socks in there. Some other oh. things. Oh, this this is fun. Thanks, Hallmark guys. Hallmark merch is so funny. It's so funny because I was like, what? Oh, these are so cozy. Good. Yay. I'm I glad. love them. I'm Thanks, glad. guys. Thanks. Of course. All right, clean that up. Clean that up. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I don't want to. Who was the trash person in your family on Christmas? Um, I think like my dad. I don't Me know. Too. We would just like. That was always my dad. Pass it on and stuff. I've I've got have you have you gotten all your Christmas gifts yet? Oh, my happy Hanukkah still, by the way. Thank the you. last yeah. night, right? Tonight's the last night. Well, you're getting all your gifts today. <sighs> I really am. Um. God, my gift will arrive sometime between the 18th and the 20th. So you won't be here. But it's coming to your house and it's addressed oh, to you. Okay, or it what might did you be get addressed in? to me. Cover your ears. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know no. if people care about the semantics about this map. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's January. Oh, good one. <laughs> people, people are listening in January. They're like, this already happened. I'm giving okay, up. Okay, let's move on. It was addressed to Mike's house. I got Patricia an iPad. Whoa. And I got her a pink iPad with the magic keyboard. Cute. And some girl on TikTok apparently makes this in these really cute necklaces with uh, charms and stuff. You pick out your charms. Mm. It's like real gold. It's very expensive. Wow. Like it's pretty expensive. Um, What's pretty expensive? Like 350 bucks oh, for like nice. a necklace. Yeah. I mean, cute. that's kind of expensive. Yeah. And then the iPad. But yeah, that's it. That's so nice. And then nice. hopefully she's getting me a mattress. <laughs> a $3,000 mattress. Because I'm like, I'd rather you spend money on something that will benefit us than like something Just that's you, just right? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, I thought this was interesting. 12% <coughs> of people dream entirely in black and white. Does anyone here dream of black and white? I feel like I wouldn't really know. Mm, no, mine's full color, baby. I don't know. Because I feel I'm like I, if I woke up from a dream, color. I'd be like, it was black and white. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you'd like call it you out. You would wake up and you would, you, it's. I don't know. I feel like I might. Yeah, I just, really? I have no clue. I don't know. Next it's, time I dream, I'll think about it. I feel like I've never thought of it. Then you could lucid dream if you're like really, if you like know yeah, your I'm like, oh, it's black and white. It's kind of interesting too. It says before color television was introduced, only 15% of people dreamt in color. Older people dream in black and white more often than younger people. Wait, it's all in the study. You're saying color TV? Yes. So, Influenced dreams. But well, what about before TV before at all? Before color TV, only 15% of people dreamt <laughs> in color. So. 75% of people were dreaming black and white because that's all they would see. What? Yeah. But you still see like color in the world. Yeah, what? I know. Wait, I, don't, is... I don't know. No, that sounds like the, fake. That, that makes no <laughs> There's sense. There's a study. Oh, yes. Well, when I was dreaming, it was all black and white. And then the, the Technicolor happened. Well, I have a it study. changed everything. I have a study. Oh, that's PubMed. That's legit. Yo, this is, this is bananas right PubMed. now. PubMed. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to read all this. But... What's the abstract? Okay. The study aimed to find out whether differences <laughs> in the reported color of dreams can be attributed to the influence of black and white media or to methodological <laughs> methodological <laughs> issues did i say that right yeah very okay. good thank you two Sounds age groups with two age groups with different media experiences were compared on questionnaire and diary measures of dream color Ana analysis <laughs> <laughs> analysis I'm analysis, on the spot, yes, yes, <laughs> analysis <laughs> revealed that people anal. Have, <laughs> anal revealed that people who have had access to black and white media before color media experience more grayscale dreams than people with no such exposure and there were no differences between diary and questionnaire measures of dream color moreover there were intergroup differences in the recall quality <laughs> of color and black and white dreams that point to the possibility that true grayscale dreams occur only in people with black and white media experience what? Uh, Thank you sense. so much for listening to the Huberman podcast. <laughs> we will see you guys next week. Was, was this is this because a lot of people weren't just doing that much back then? No, no, no. Before TV, Christ. people were dreaming in color. <laughs> PC. Before TV, people were just dreaming in color. But then black and white TV came out, and people were seeing all this black and white stuff. And also, TV is fucking crazy for the first time. Yeah. So people are probably dreaming in black and white because this new thing, like TV, was making them dream in black and white. And then 
people. It was probably like a very short amount of time that people were dreaming in black and white. Like I bet you when VR comes <coughs> out and like everyone's using VR, people start dreaming in VR, and then like it won't happen as much anymore. Oh, hmm. uh, so it's just a blip in yes, yes, yes. Ooh, VR. Just imagine putting it on at night, and you're in like the coziest place you could ever think like a cabin i want to bring fireplace. it on a plane <laughs> i feel like on a flight there. i would be like <laughs> oh this is oculus yeah just like on a flight yeah yeah but i feel like you, th- it, I, you could watch a fucking <laughs> imax movie on my flight come on yeah i mean so i've watched sick. a full movie in vr before really i watched green what Girls is it called? Gone Wild. Green oh. Point. It was the movie. How to have sex. Oh, how Max, to, just, Max just like this. <laughs> Don't they have Hong like Kong. VR porn? <laughs> what? Don't they have like VR porn? Yes, I'm sure they do. I feel like that was have a new show I watched. Yes, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, what is it like? Is uh, it realistic? It's creepy. It's creepy that they like look in your eyes. I mean, like, like we, like they look in your eyes. Zane and I did it one time. We were like, "What does it really look yeah. like?" Yeah, that's what's creepy is how much they're all like they're looking into your eyes. I'm like, oh yeah, it, baby. Like you can't escape it because when they're recording it, they're looking right into the lens, and no matter where you, you like look, they're it. looking at you. <laughs> you it's, can't escape the sex. Um, that's so. But I watched weird. the movie Greenpoint in a movie theater in the Oculus World, and like three other guys were like next to me watching the movie, and they're like, "Hey, popcorn!" I'm like, "Yeah, this is a pretty good movie." Like, yeah, someone's streaming it right now, so we're just all tuning in. It was kind of wild, like talking to them, real weird. people. Yeah, but VR people. But yeah, they it wasn't were like in... the Oculus, like in the in the game. There's just it's actual people wearing Oculus talking. Yeah, that's weird. That's gonna be a weird future. Hmm. Uh, I thought this was interesting. It says it's not uncommon for deaf people to use sign language in their dreams. There are many <laughs> instances, yeah, where people have reported <laughs> this. So, well, like they're like, I guess like instead of talking in their dreams, it's sign language. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. This is like really me and uh That's gonna be kind of frustrating though, because like your body's already asleep at like Right. It's, it seems exhausting. You can't fully because like, that's your full form of co- of communication is your hands for people yeah, who are but, deaf. But even in dreams if you're like, you know, Talking. on a roller coaster, like you're yeah. not really on a roller coaster and you're still laying in bed. Yeah. Um Dis- I think it's spelled it's pronounced Dizania is a state of finding it hard to get out of bed in the morning. Oh, oh. that's me and my. That's us. Doesn't matter what time it is. What's it called? Disney Mania? It's called Lazy. Dizania. It's not called Lazy. <laughs> We've all, no doubt, found it tricky getting out of bed before, but those suffering from Dizania find it particularly difficult. It's most likely to be a form of chronic fatigue syndrome. Oh, I definitely have that. <laughs> I, I do. I'm always tired. It's probably anxiety. My therapist is like, you're you're in bed a lot and it's like sleepy because you have so much anxiety. You're like, your body's like trying to recover. It's like really weird. I was Whoa. just, I was like, yeah. it just heard it's important just to put the feet on the ground. And once you put the feet on the ground, once that step's feet done, on the ground, you're more likely <laughs> to <laughs> keep <my> going. <laughs> also, I think in just chugging a bunch of water when I get up and then I immediately think of vitamins and then I... <laughs> Because, like, I try to, like, habit stack. I try yeah. to think of all these, like, essential things that I need to do and get in me in the first bit. And once I'm up, I'm up. Whenever I drink water right when I wake up, it makes me kind of nauseous. Mm. Like, I don't really like it. Ugh. I have to wait a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Hydration makes me nauseous. <laughs> okay, wait. I was hoping that we would all have our a wall of bottles, but I saw a TikTok last night of Mm-mm. this girl who has been sick for, like, months oh no like six months and she's like all right everyone within a wall of bottle listen up oh no and she's like so i have been like like in and out of hospitals like on huh? multiple antibiotics like it's just like so unwell and flip the cap up she was like i washed my water bottle not a lot but i didn't know that this piece you can remove and it was covered in mold yep Oh, I, Wait, re- I, re- I removed mine. I removed mine lo- this morning, and I was like, okay, there's nothing in it. Matt's, like, shaking, but she opening was, it. Yeah. <laughs> You're oh, good. Oh, well, okay. You're also, good. I feel like Patricia, she'll clean these for me. I know. I was like, I didn't even know that that was a part of it. And, like, what is that doing? <laughs> that made me just so nervous. <laughs> I think it um, helps it close. Like, yeah, seals yeah, it. Yeah, it suctions it. Got it. Yeah. But now we know. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah, I thank didn't you for telling me. There. I also saw that it was, like, so fucking sure. TikTok I shop. Washing. But it was, like, a specific, like... Uh, brush to clean your water bottles. Like it has all these different little like. Oh, I Ooh. have that in my Amazon cart. Oh, okay. Actually, they it's a good little cute. stocking stuffer. Yeah. yeah. But then again, just like put it in your dishwasher. Yeah. Like. Well, you're not supposed to put them in the dishwasher. You aren't. No. What water bottles? The Awalas. Oh, what? Shit. You're lying. No. I put I put mine in there a couple of times. 
it literally says it on I'm also the really not a dishwasher thing. follower with like things you should and shouldn't. Yeah. But whatever. Well, don't don't put tinfoil in the microwave. That I know. What? You're joking. <laughs> you would know that. Yeah, no, I don't put tinfoil in the microwave. Yeah, you know, you know, like housewife domestic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Put her, put them in their place. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when something I think it was like McDonald's or Burger King, they put out like a thing, women belong in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, what? it was like supposed to be funny. It was, that, like... Well, no, they were supposed to say like, because a lot of chefs are men. Oh, yeah. And so they were trying to like be <laughs> like for women's rights and like women belong in the kitchen. <laughs> like just a lot. But everyone took oh, it as like women belong God. in the kitchen. Oh, that's really funny. They got a lot of backlash. <clears throat> um, it says one in four married couples sleep in separate beds. One in four. One in four. Right? Dr. Sarah Brewer told us why this might actually be a good thing. Do you want to hear why it's a good thing or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Separate beds? It's basically just saying, like, because of snoring, someone taking up too much space, hogging the duvet, fidgeting, partner rolls over and breathes directly onto them, blah, blah, blah. That's so sad. Yeah, I'd but be I, so I, could, sad. I could see why that would it's like. It's kind of like having a roommate. My mom. Yeah. Okay, sometimes. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. My mom will sometimes, because my dad's a really bad snorer. So my mom occasionally will go sleep in the guest room just because she's like, I need a good night's sleep. Like, you got to get him some mouth tape. I think yeah. he's tried everything. And to then be no, you got to get the mouth tape and then the nose breathing right strips. And if that doesn't work, lobotomy. Remove the- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or remove the nose. I Wait, did it. I send you guys the curse of the, yes. the Kennedys? Oh, uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think he did. Oh my god, that gave me. You didn't know that. Creeps. No, that like the Kennedys have had that just bad streak of luck with a bunch of the. Everyone members. dies. Yeah, I would be like, take out my uterus. Like, I'm not gonna bring anyone onto this earth because yeah, just... they all have. It's pretty Scary. crazy. I saw on Reddit <clears throat> they had a bunch of videos from the 50s of people before and after the, their lobotomies. <laughs> So oh, dark. I looked at that. No, I went on a deep dark hole after we talked about lobotomies. I was like, I want to watch a video. I just want to see like I have very dark thoughts. Yeah, rot, like, I just rotten. Rotten. Com over here. Yeah, I just want to like see what that was really like. And a lot of times they went through their eye, not their nose. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's and it's disgusting. just people who were like a little bit, you know, maybe had a little bit of attitude. Maybe or just, just like, on the spectrum, and they just were like, we have had enough of you. No, that's usually probably what it is. Or like, well, I was reading the comments women on their periods of the um. The Kennedy one, and someone was saying that, uh, what is her name? Roberta, Rose? Rosemary. Rosemary. She just like got pregnant or something. It was like wild. So they did it. So yeah. crazy. She was just a swifty. I can't believe that was a thing. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. That is so bad. Oh, truthfully, <laughs> no, some she of them do need a lobotomy. So some bad. need a lobotomy. There's been, times, there's been times where I needed a lobotomy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought this was like kind of funny. 41% of the British population sleep in a fetal position. <laughs> 41 percent yeah that's because they lost the war (laughs) (laughs) they're still scared of usa USA. i I sleep in the fetal position probably like 20 percent of my sleep the you're holding your that's like how i sleep i think like like not the whole night uh, but 20 percent of the time while i'm sleeping in the middle of the night i definitely go into that position for 20 percent i'm just so anxious all the time i'm just yeah oh i I love you gotta get the weighted blanket i do yeah i'm putting the pillow right between my legs and just like I'm just all over the place. Yeah, I like to plop, weighted blanket. <laughs> plop. I take my magnesium gummies, maybe a little bit of melatonin if I need to wake up early, like today. Magnesium <laughs> glycinate, take it every night. I take it too, but I don't know if it really does anything. Magnesium but I still, glycinate? I still take it every night. I don't like feel like it does don't anything. Don't take magnesium from oxide, though. That'll make you like shit your brains out when you wake up. No, I take the glycinate. Yeah. yeah. I'm so constipated. I got prescribed like a 500 milligram Magox and nothing happened. Oh, boy. I know. <laughs> Arid. No, she's full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Ideally, falling asleep at night should only take you 10 to 15 minutes. If it takes less than five minutes, chances are you're sleep deprived. Like when you get in bed? I think so, yeah. And oh. when you try to go like to sleep. Like once you like lay down and close your eyes, it should take between 10 and 15 minutes average. Do you guys fall asleep just to your own thoughts? Are you listening to t- like a music, a sleep I meditation? I think about everything that was great in the day. Aww, I know you cute. don't. I do. I'm just high out of my mind. so I'm just... I do. <laughs> I think about everything that was great, my favorite parts of the day. Because I, I, I cannot stand the anxiety before going to bed. So oh, you I have, have anxiety to... before bed? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's like 
my least. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, let's replay it all. Let's run it back one more <laughs> let's time. Let's replay all in the black and white. And, the horrible day. Uh, I think about what was good, and I think about what I'm looking forward to, and then I'll start. Then I start counting, and I genuinely just keep counting and counting wow. and counting. Do you count down from a thousand? No, I count that's what up. I do, and it I count, I count. I count up. How high can you count? Can you count to a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, but usually I don't get to a hundred. For some reason, wow. my brain genuinely really? get bored. And I, I just know. And sometimes it works. you kind of like lose the number. Like, wait, where was I? No, I do that all the time. Yeah. And then I start over. Yeah, yeah. I started Whoa. a thousand and go down. I've made it to about six hundred, but that's it. Yeah. Wow. But it's 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 funny because like sometimes I'm like, wait, did I say seventy eight or seventy seven? I'm like, wait, I know go I back. do that all the time. Yeah. I fall asleep to TikTok. I usually TJ like, for the past couple of nights. Your it's in your hand scrolling, and you just yeah. TJ last <laughs> night, and then it's just replaying the same I, like, TikTok all over. night. No, because then I'll like wake up and be like, oh, I should put my phone down and close my eyes and go to sleep. Whoa. But TJ, the past two nights, has literally fallen asleep. He, <laughs> the other night, I was just like, this lady just keeps talking. And I thought he had put on a podcast. So I was like, oh, whatever. He's just listening to this podcast. But it wasn't. He literally just had this fucking TikTok on loop for like 30 minutes. And I look over. Damn, so many views. His thumb was just on the screen. And it was like this in his face. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. And so then I, I went to take it away to turn it off. He, he was, I was watching that. <laughs> no, yes. No, he said that. I was like, wait, like, what? No, you weren't. No. And he like freaked out. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> One time I fell asleep with an AirPod in and I fell asleep to a live of like a medium. And she was, she has like such a soothing voice. And I kind of like falling asleep to her sometimes if she's like live. But I woke up in the middle of the night and her life had obviously ended. And it was this guy being like, let's go, everybody. Get a lion. Get to the galaxy. Let's <laughs> oh, go. And God. I was like, this, it was like three in the morning. And I was like, oh my God. That's what does so happen? scary. I love falling asleep sleep to like a good old like dreary sleepy movie and like it's well, I still also on. know you listen to brown noise because it's on our spotify playlist oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh is it really yeah, yeah. it's like every other Patricia song plays it every night it's like i can't play... listen to that it sounds like static to me. like i need like a oh, physical it, like to, fan to me it sounds like i'm safe in a womb yeah um, oh we listen but to i it love too. like falling asleep to like fanny and alexander which is this like swedish film from like the early 80s and it's like it's so nice, and they all have little Swedish voices, <laughs> and they're all around their house, and there's like candlelight and stuff, and it's winter. I love it. I took a nap in front of it the other day, and I woke up. It was just like it's it still playing. Oh, I enjoyed it. Just wanted adorable. to share. Yeah. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> was that dumb? Was that dumb? Cut it Take out. It cut it out. out. Uh, never, never mind. <laughs> I love Fanny and Alexander. It says humans are the only mammals that willingly delay sleep. <laughs> Willingly delay. Oh, that's kind of sick. Yeah, every animal is just like, ah, I'm tired now. Here. Yeah, yeah. I know, but sometimes we're like, so much free time. I can like, <laughs> I like the free time I have. Yeah, even though I'm tired and I have to sleep, so I'll delay sleeping because I like. Yeah, the free time. no, totally. We're the only ones because, like, you know, we're probably the only mammals that are like going out. <laughs> you know, yeah. going out, going out drinking, some whatever. <laughs> What's then, everyone's and... like? So, we... when does everyone get into bed? Like and eight thirty, eight eight thirty. No way. Well, because we like watch Buttercup Saw eight, eight thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Oh, in bed. Do you mm -hmm. eat dinner hmm. in bed too? Like no, we eat at like six ish or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm eating my steak Just in it. Steak in bed. <laughs> You're eight. in your bed at eight. I mean, like on a night I'm not doing something. Yes. I'll get we watch Better Call Saul. It ends at nine thirty. I'm up for like another hour or two. Well, Patricia gets okay. in bed at like nine sometimes, and I'm like, no, 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 no. You're <laughs> staying out here. And then <laughs> I need control tonight. her sleep. Like, well, like I'm not controlling no, we, her. I, but I, too. Because then I'm like, oh, so do I have to call it a night too? Because now I'm in the living room and knowing that you're already in bed. So much for like quality time. No, like, when TJ goes into the bedroom or vice versa, and we don't like tell the other that we're like getting ready for bed. We're like, what? Yeah. Like, you're just going to bed and you didn't tell me? Yes, you got to run that by me. Yeah, because yeah, then... we're hanging out. Yeah, we're hanging <laughs> out. Well, I'm with you. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but around 8 30. That is so like for we normally don't have a TV in our bedroom. Like we really only <laughs> watch the TV in the bedroom like on the weekends when we're like hungover. But like the living room in the bedroom are like, two separate entities to oh, me in terms of like like watching. nighttime oh. like i'm like shows are meant for, the for 
the, the living, living room. room. Like we are hanging out, we are watching TV, we are not going to bed. But like if I watched a TV show like in bed, it feels so different. Oh. Like you might not even finish it because you're like, oh, yes. we turn it off. ambient movies in bed that like we agree that we're not going to sit here and actively watch. watch the film, but I'll put on like a sleepy little black and white film. I love that right before bed. And then we're on our phones, but yeah. we got that playing because yeah. it's black and white. It's not too vibrant of color. But oh, we that's, still... yeah, that's smart. How big is your TV? Big. Yeah, yeah, Both we have like big. a ninety inch TV. I have like a ninety bedroom. inch. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's big. It's like way too big. God, I went to Ella just moved into a new apartment and she small like, TV. Unbelievably no small. Way. Like she's got this big, beautiful living room, couch, dresser, and the TV's like I this. I saw that on Instagram. Yeah, I it's thought like, the same thing. That's a bit of a tiny TV. Yeah. But she told me she's gonna get a bigger one. I, I pointed it out. I was like, hey, listen. She heard our podcast. Yeah. She was like, Do oh no. Do you fall asleep with a TV on? I since I can remember, have had to listen to something to fall asleep. Okay. Usually it's <laughs> Seinfeld, yeah. just like on Netflix. And then what I do is I set on your phone, you can set a timer, but when the timer ends, you can make it say stop playing. Okay, okay. so you do oh. it on your phone. I do it on my phone. So I have yeah. like, I'll open up Netflix. I'll just put on an episode of Seinfeld on like the <laughs> one notch above <laughs> silence. So it's like literally just like you barely, yeah. I barely yeah. even hear it. That's it's just like, like audio. I'm not like to. listening to it. I put the phone on my so like the light is gone like i put the yeah. phone face down and then i set a timer for like 10 minutes so that it stops playing because the worst is like you fall asleep and then there's like a loud thing like ah, ha, ha, ha. and 25 minutes later you wake up so i'd like every every night timer netflix i'm out but then i hate it when i'm still that 10 minute and you're still it awake. goes off you're yeah. still awake like, you're like oh, yeah and then, but then you just redo it and it's fine I didn't make it. Sometimes I'll like go on YouTube and try and find like a sleep meditation too. There's a lot on Spotify. Oh, I actually listened to one last night and I fell asleep to it. There, and I was like, no way did this work because I woke up and I was like an hour in. I was like, oh, it did work. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep like right away. It's yeah, you're like because they really make you think like your toes are relaxed. I'm yeah. like, oh, my toes are relaxed. If, yeah. if you, uh, how often do you guys uh, in the middle of the night wake up and go pee? Literally never. What? Oh, I don't I think do I've ever done that. Night. Me too. Every night I in have the to. middle of the Most, night. In if my I'm, like, dreams. Very drunk. Yeah. <laughs> You, you should see, see the, the things, things we, we do. do. Okay. We pee. We pee. <laughs> um, okay. The only times I never really go to the bathroom in the middle of the night is when I'm like very drunk the night before. And then you I'm pee a in the rock. Bed. Those are also the nights where I wake up and like my hair's perfect because I must have really? just been like this. <laughs> it's like a zombie. Yeah, I'm like, how did that happen? Just in a cop. I always wake up in the middle of the night like multiple times like not to pee but i'm just oh. up at like two i'm up at three i'm up oh, at four you, so and i'm like oh. if you're waking up in the middle of the night are you looking at your phone to see what time it is uh my tv usually has like the time on it so i'll just look and be like, oh, you keep your tv nuts. on the whole night mm -hmm. oh gosh see, wait what yeah what channel <laughs> usually it's like a old like 2000s movie we put on and it's you're showing that, that blue light on <laughs> yeah, but your I have eyes a sleep mask, so it doesn't matter but why don't you just turn it off because i like we both like having it on. We just like having it on. Does he have Leave a sleep alone. mask? Does he have a sleep mask? No, but he doesn't care. He's like he's a he's a, he's an oh artist. Yeah, he's an artist. He doesn't need it. But he, I feel like men are so easy. Your to electricity just like... bill. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a LED but screen. But I, but I'm very like uh, I cannot know what time it is if I wake up in the middle oh, of the night really? and go back I'm to bed. Oh really? I'm dying to know what time it is. No, I'm like, is it two p.m. Like, or like, six a.m.? Like, Shit! So that means two more hours. No, I gotta, I... Like, I gotta get back to sleep. And now I'm thinking about something. <laughs> the like, worst is when I I am the same. I'm like I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. But then I'm like sitting there for 15 but minutes I and I can't know. sleep. And then I look and it's like 5 a.m. and I'm like fuck this is the worst time yeah because now i'm like not gonna be able to go back to sleep because i know that like 5 a.m is the middle of the night dude you could so uh, no, go that counts sleep. as like an early an early morning rise that's, like yes. an air, that's an airport if like, i mean mark Wahlberg is eating breakfast at like yeah, five, well mark Wahlberg is insane yeah. <laughs> 2 a.m <laughs> that's not the middle of the night if i see 7 55 a.m i'm like ooh, five more minutes and then i go right back to sleep Damn, oh, already at the gym <laughs> That was crazy today when I woke up at and I was like it was like eight o'clock and I was like wow Aaron's sometimes at the gym at this time in the morning yeah three days a week it's unbelievable maybe I need to go see a doctor yeah since you have that condition <laughs> yeah whatever uh, we have this chronic fatigue syndrome yeah. medical condition I just medical like don't condition. like getting out of bed like even if I'm not tired I'm just like. Like so right now, I'm I could. You. I don't like getting out of bed. Yeah, but like, I can go to sleep right now. Done. 
It does have to be done. Yeah, yeah Mike's you can sleep. Any, he fell asleep one time on the in the car on the way home. Crazy. I'm jealous. In seconds. I'm annoyed. I can't sleep anywhere but like a bed. If I'm ever on a plane, no matter what time of day it is, it could be. You can sleep on a plane. It like could that. be a 2 p.m. flight, and I woke up at 8 a.m. The second a flight takes off, once we're once we the wheels lift off the ground, Wait, I'm out. But you want to sleep? I love sleeping on a plane. Probably huh. makes it go by so fast. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. That's for me. It's I try travel. to sleep because it makes it go by faster. Lately, though, I used to be such a tough sleeper on planes. It, I would have to buy like the pillow inflatable thing, oh, just try yeah. to get comfy. Oh, now yeah. I realize if I just do the headrest and sit there properly, like, no, but like you, most people, do you want to like your body like, sleep like that? I don't know. It goes okay. limp. Barbie makes this thing. I don't know what it's called, but you put it around your neck and it's like weighted and it's like good for planes too, but also just for life. And you can kind of like rest on it a little bit. So an airplane pillow? It's not an airplane pillow. It's like a it's it's like a neck wrap. I don't know how to explain it. You can like warm it up too if you have like a headache, but they say it's like good for planes too. I think it's Todd Barry or some comedian has a joke. He's like, my friend was like, oh, you can't sleep on planes. He's like, no. Imagine you're in your bedroom and there's a jet engine <laughs> and 900 strangers yeah, next yeah. to you sitting upright. Yeah. You're not just going to. And there's no ways. Yeah, ding, you're, you're just not going to pass out. Well, when we go to Seattle, I'm not going to let you sleep. We're going to have so much fun. I'm going to sleep. On I every... think I need this. Yeah. You know what I also realized? I For don't, a plane? When, when I go to bed, he, when I go to bed, I don't like room. having my neck exposed. <laughs> what? I noticed this recently. I don't like. Like. I need this. Like, are you nervous someone's going to come slit yes. it? Yes. I'm, I'm worried someone's going to Sweeney Todd my fucking throat <laughs> in the middle of the night. And I realize I'm very, Stop. yes, I'm very, like, I'm always You're trying to covering. keep. You're You're like a grandma covering This you. covered. And I think that <laughs> neck pill from Barabee would. Yeah, it might help. Would help that because it kind of covers it up and makes me feel. And it's weighted. I'll put and you pillows like the weighted. on my neck, too, like on my chest. Oh, my God. Just to, like, cradle it. That is hmm. funny. What he said. I got out of bed and just put on my pajamas because yeah. I sleep naked. Mm. Yeah, Erin was joking that she just does this podcast naked because she I, sleeps I naked. I sleep in this. You look like that looks like scrubs. <laughs> no, I know. You look like a doctor with your white coat. Well, um, you sleep in the, this is the person you described this yes, morning in the just car. Just a nineteen fifties guy in a suit. <laughs> yeah. I have, yeah. I have, that's I, insane, man. That's a crazy four pairs of this. What's Damn. the brand? Haynes. You get twenty dollars oh. on Amazon, full sets. Nice. <laughs> your little arms. Are they comfy? Uh, yeah, super assume. comfy. Sometimes I'll be like a little like maybe huh? hot. And I'll take this off in the middle of the night. I know I what? can't sleep with long sleeve at all. But I love like getting in pajama mode. Yeah, me too. Like, sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? I'm just wearing like gym shorts and like in athletic yeah. pants. Sometimes I'm like, I need proper pajamas. No, I love PJs. Yeah, I have um like a red pair of these. I get compliments but I could not sleep like that. How do you sleep? Uh, I have like what I call my sleep shorts. They're just like <laughs> sweatpants shorts, but like the waistband is like really thick and super forgiving. It's like very loose so and then just tight. just like a nice comfortable t-shirt. Hmm. Shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, I'm usually a big t-shirt gal. You should don't do t-shirts sometimes. I only I have like specific shirts I sleep in. Yeah, I have my, my sleep shirts. Oh, Ambien. Okay, this one says, <laughs> this is from Reddit. Uh, first bout of bad insomnia was my first year of college. I desperately needed sleep, so I left my dorm. I left a dorm party and took two Ambien. I two? Still, yeah. I still wasn't asleep, so I took another one. I went Rookie to sleep. Mistake. I went to sleep. I wake up in the morning feeling like shit, like I hadn't slept at all. I feel, and I feel hungover. I sit up in bed and realize I'm wearing clothes, kinda. It was a weird mix and match, and definitely not the PJs I had gone, gone to sleep in. Uh-oh. There are also random articles of clothing all over the floor and mostly sopping wet. I talk to my roommates and they fill me in on what I did after getting out of bed and going back to the party on 3 Ambien. Mostly a lot of nonsense, but I did fall in the campus fish pond twice. Apparently the first time I fell in, I blamed it on my clothes <laughs> and went back to my dorm to change. And I did the same thing in different clothes. I still have what? no memory of that night. This person should not be prescribed Ambien I'm, if they're taking three. <laughs> I'm cracking up that he blamed it on his clothes for falling in fish pond. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's so scary. It is scary. Like you could kill someone and just not know. No, like And also like then you wake up and you think that you slept but you were just out having adventures and like doing dumb things. I would love Three. to do that much but have an ambient babysitter just to like watch make sure me. you're all make right. Make sure like I don't hurt myself but just to record what I do. I know, do I'm just curious. Like on ambient. Yeah, make a slept. salt sandwich. <laughs> like make give me Amazon 
and give me a bunch of Amazon. <laughs> a- Ambien. Oh, yeah. I've heard that the whole th- oh, go. A bit, I want someone to like watch me go through my process on Ambien, being like, I need <laughs> bowling a, pins. I need eight series. bowling pins now. <laughs> now. So I think that those effects only happen if you're like fighting it. It is. Yeah, you start yeah, to lose yeah, it. Yeah. You fight it. Yeah. But some people like don't realize it, and it starts to feel like good, and then they just keep staying up. I guess that's what I was read the other day. Uh, someone said, I took an Ambien while in the hospital to help me relax and sleep prior to childbirth. My husband, oh my, put, my husband put on South Park shortly after I took the pill. Very low dose. I woke up scream crying that I was stuck on a Ferris wheel and couldn't get off. I remember calling for my husband to get me off the Ferris wheel and getting really pissed off when he told me I was laying in a bed. Realized at that moment, Ambien was not good for my marriage. Yeah. Her marriage. These are. Yeah. These Have are you ever very... taken Ambien? No. Oh, I've taken The hardest drug I've done is melatonin. Really? For like sleep? Oh. Oh wow. Not even like a Z-Quil? Or Xanax? No, no. A Xanax. A Xanax. A Benadryl. Put you right to sleep. Never had a Xanax. A what? A Xanny bar. <laughs> no. Yes, you do. You do. Clonopin, Z- non Xanax. That's pretty close. My uncle woke my aunt who was on Ambien, over some minor issue. My aunt then picked up a nearby letter opener and said, if you wake me up again, I will cut your fucking throat. (laughs) She had no memory of the incident later. She also had another Ambien incident where she got in her truck and sat in the driver's seat doing nothing. When my uncle asked her what she was doing, she just replied, the turtles are back, and then attempted to drive the car through the garage into her living room, but she couldn't get the truck out of park. After that, she went back into the house and ordered five pizzas. Once again, she didn't remember any of this. Needless to say, she now refuses to take Ambien. Five? Five pizzas. Yum. Yeah. She was hungry. Five. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how much of them she ate. I know, probably none. like none. Isn't this cool background? <laughs> it's so oh funny. my gosh. It's like the iPod. That's so weird. It like Is looks it, like an iPod. Can you use it? Light well, it up. No, it's just... Light it up again. Oh, Light sorry. It it looks like you're showing me an iPod. I know. It looks yeah, that is kind of true. And like all this stuff is like the real time and the real everything. Wow. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Sick. Maybe if you're on Ambien. Okay, I need to be back by noon. Why? I have a call at noon. I don't think we're going to be here till 11. I thought we'd be done like 10.30. Are we only doing one episode? Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh, episode? my gosh. <laughs> Wait, what's the problem? What? <laughs> <laughs> we need to, oh, okay. I thought we had to like sandwich in another one. No. no. Wait, you have something at 12? It's supposed to be on a call at 12. Do you think we yeah. have time for our well, other definitely thing? Definitely not. Well, let's see how. It might only take us like 30 minutes to get back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Matt's shocked. Yeah, we only need to do one. And it flew by. That was fun. So we're done already. All right, we'll see well, you next week. I believe you didn't even need to go to McDonald's. <laughs> I know. I even fucking bought two fucking. <laughs> This is the benefits of reading on good chat. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, watching. Have a great sleep whenever you sleep next. And be careful if you're an Ambien. Be so careful. Be so careful.